Good afternoon, Ani, bienvenue, and welcome to today's Chancellor Installation and Convocation Ceremony. As the President and Vice Chancellor here at Algoma University, it is an honour and privilege to be with you today to celebrate this extremely special occasion. I acknowledge with respect that I am joining you today from Robinson Huron Treaty Territory. The land on which we are gathered is the traditional territory of the Anishinaabek, home of Garden River First Nation, Batchewana First Nation, and the Métis Nation. I also acknowledge that this area is historically known as Baoting. We also acknowledge we are on sacred land set aside for education as envisioned by Chief Shingwak for our children and for those as yet unborn. Hello, I'm Dr. Miles McClellan, a professor of law and justice. Let us be thankful for this gathering here today as we all celebrate the academic success of our grandchildren, children, brothers, sisters, spouses, friends, and students. Let us also be grateful to our families and friends for the crucial support they have given us in the past and especially over our university years. Let us celebrate the time we have spent together, the friends we have made, the intellectual exploration and development we've undertaken, and the insights we have shared into the multiplicity of this world, its people, its ways of knowing all the dimensions of its amazing beauty, and the marvelous variety and range of its intellectual and artistic expression. We should never lose sight of the possibility that the world can be changed, refashioned, and made better. Let us hope that the knowledge, insight, and wisdom shown by the members of the graduating class will be used not only for personal development, but for the advancement of our community, our common humanity, and ultimately the human spirit itself. Congratulations and thank you. Good afternoon. Ani, bonjour. My name is David Morasco. Algoma University Registrar. Today we come together to celebrate the installation of Algoma's newest chancellor. Algoma University's chancellor serves as a titular head of the institution. The chancellor participates in major events and ceremonies, including our annual convocation ceremonies, where all degrees are conferred. By acting as an ambassador of Algoma University, the chancellor also helps raise the profile of the university while assisting in both relationship building and advancement initiatives. The Chancellor provides support to the University President and promotes the special mission of the University, embodying the seven grandfather teachings and leading by example. Although the pandemic required us to alter a number of the traditional installation elements, we are grateful to move forward with revised protocol that enables us to move forward. As such, it is my honor to introduce you to today's ceremony participants. I am joined by our past Chancellor, Shirley Horn, Ms. Ozma Vesna, President and Vice Chancellor, Ms. Shelley Shell, Chair of the Board of Governors, as we officially install Mr. Mario Turco into the role of Chancellor. Mario Turco was appointed as Algoma University's Chancellor for a four-year term on September 1st, 2020. Given the current pandemic and based on the tradition held in many other institutions, it was decided that it would be appropriate to schedule his formal installation as part of our convocation ceremony. I would now like to invite our former Chancellor, Shirley Horn, to say a few words. Ashkipadabin Nishquail, New Dawn Woman of the Omishkego, Missinabi Cree First Nation. Shirley Fletcher Horn is my Christian name. It has been both an honor and a privilege to have served as the first Chancellor of Algoma University on the site of the former Shingwak Indian Residential School, which has been part of my life since the age of seven. As Chancellor, I have been able to sit with many groups 
and committees and sat on the Board of Governors where all important decisions were made. My life's work has been centered around the advancement of the vision of Chief Shingwak and the special mission tied to this institution. To provide an education to Indigenous people with equal rights and greater opportunities for all. I have had the opportunity to work with many people at Algoma, from staff, faculty, students, elders, and especially my good friends of the Children of Shingwak Alumni Association, who have worked tirelessly over 40 years to bring this vision forward of a great teaching wigwam. And especially, I wish the best, all the best to Mario Turco, our next um, chancellor. This same journey continues in the spirit of goodwill and commitment to a greater future. I invite our president and vice chancellor, Ms. Ozma Vesna, to say a few words. Today, today marks an exciting time in the history of Algoma University as we celebrate the installation of Mario Turco, our second chancellor. The chancellor is the ceremonial head of the university and brings his or her special talents and interests to the position as they enter into and enhance the life of the university. Mario is a community champion who truly understands the importance of higher education. Born in Italy and immigrating to Canada as a young child who did not speak English, Mario witnessed firsthand the importance of public education as he, his siblings and parents settled and rebuilt their life in a new country. Through the earlier experiences of learning to speak and write in English to an impressive 42-year career including nine years as Director of Education for the Algoma District School Board, Mario has become a passionate advocate for public education, student success, and equity. Mario is highly regarded and respected by his peers for his leadership accomplishments, his interpersonal skills, his knowledge, and his strategic thinking. He has worked extensively with government, school boards, and a range of other organizations across the province and country. Mario currently sits on the board of directors for the Sioux Area Hospital as first vice chair, as well as chair of the education committee, the chair of the recruitment and selection committee, and he continues to serve as a leadership mentor and coach to a range of individuals. In his short time with us thus far, Mario has become fascinated by the unique history of the uni university and our special mission and the incredible array of programming offered through and across the three campuses. His expertise and experience will be welcomed as the university enters the next exciting chapter where we implement our Growth to 3000 strategy, a new academic plan and much new infrastructure required for campus modernization and enrollment expansion. Mario is a wonderful choice to help the university continue the tremendous work done by our first Chancellor, Shirley Horn, who's with us today. Ani Shirley. And congratulations, Mario. I now invite Shelley Shell, Chair of the Algoma University Board of Governors, to come forward to lead Chancellor Turco through the oath of office. Do you, Mario Turco, pledge to perform the duties and obligations of the Chancellor of Algoma University to the best of your abilities as prescribed by the statutes and charter of this university? In the name of Algoma University and the, by virtue of the authority invested in me, I now install you in the office of the Chancellor and charge you with carrying out the duties of said office. I invest in you the authority, privileges, and responsibilities symbolized by your high office. Thank you. 
It is my honor to invite Chancellor Mario Turco to address the audience. Madam President, Madam Chair, members of the Board of Governors, members of Academic Senate, University Registrar David Marasco, faculty and staff, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, student graduates. It is truly an honor to be installed as Chancellor of Algoma University during this year's Spring Convocation. I would like to begin by acknowledging Shirley Horn, the first Chancellor of Algoma University. She has paved the way for me and many other Chancellors to follow. Shirley created a legacy of compassion and resilience that impacted so many individuals, both within the university and within our extended community. And for that, we cannot thank her enough. I'm humbled to follow in her footsteps. My sincere gratitude to the Algoma University Board of Governors for their trust and confidence. Thank you for all you do on behalf of students, staff, faculty on all three of our campuses. I acknowledge Paul Tuffinello and Vincent Greco, who were instrumental in my nomination, and I also thank the many members of the community who supported me. Special thanks to Dr. Don Jackson, retired Algoma University professor, who provided countless hours over the past year educating me on the history of the Indian Residential School, this Shinwalk site, and the history of Algoma from its beginning as a college to the present day university. I am grateful to everyone. In considering the message that I would share today, I found myself thinking about a number of possible themes to set the stage for the work I will champion, champion sorry, as chancellor of this amazing university over the next four years. Since commencing my role in September, I have been fascinated and have spent countless hours researching the rich, unique, and at times challenging history of this university. I'll go on in its early years as an affiliate affiliated college of Laurentian University was originally situated on the Sioux College site in three portables. Three years later, it relocated to this present site, the home of the Shinwak site. Today, Algoma is the only Canadian university that is located on the site of a former Indian residential school. Algoma is recognized worldwide for its work preserving the residential school history of Canada. It would take 41 years before Algoma became an independent university. And it's the only university in all of Canada to be given a special mission in its charter. It was titled a special mission because it had the dual responsibility to be both a teaching oriented university and to cultivate cross-cultural teaching and learning between indigenous communities and other communities. Call it faith, call it spiritual intervention. I believe there's a reason why Algoma has two unique distinctions and two unique parts in its mission. This university is destined to be an institution that will make a significant impact locally, nationally, and internationally. It's been said, it's not where you come from that defines you, it's where you end up that matters. In my short time here, I'm impressed with what Algoma has achieved, and I'm very optimistic that the future looks even more promising. Algoma University already offers a wide range of cultural, academic, and social programs and activities that are making it for a special, meaningful, and life-changing experience for every student. Whether the student is interested in psychology or visual arts, business administration, computer science and technology, law and justice, cross-cultural learning or indigenous programs, Algoma has a wide range of selections for everyone. There is no doubt that the staff and faculty are student focused. Everyone knows students by name and is committed to their success both inside and outside the classroom. And if students are interested in research or experiential learning, they have ample opportunities to work with talented faculty to develop solid skills 
in a very supportive, dynamic, and creative environment. I have also seen that there is a definite commitment to improving the learning environment for students, staff, and faculty. Just this year, the, the Board of Directors approved an ambitious ca uh, campus master plan for the Sault Ste. Marie campus that provided a renovated student, student center and an extensive renovated building in Brampton, on the Brampton campus. And if COVID has shown us anything, it has proven that staff, faculty, and students are very resilient. It is this resilience and commitment to each other and to student success that will continue to propel the university forward. Algoma has come a long way and the future looks very exciting. Building on our accomplishments to date and our renewed focus on our special mission, we have the foundation for greatness. For example, last month, Algoma took the significant step in furthering the second part of our special mission with the announcement of the creation of the Makawakaigan, a national center of culture excellence where people of all cultures from around the world will come together and be welcome to come here and to learn and be and from each other as part of Algoma's ongoing commitment to cross-cultural teaching, learning, healing, and reconciliation. This initiative will model how diverse people, indigenous and non-indigenous, working collaboratively as partners in a spirit of equity and inclusiveness, are building and strengthening relationships that are making a difference in supporting each other. Makwa can show the nation and the world the, how we value, nurture, and respect each other's differences, values, and beliefs. We can show our strong relationship in partnership with the Children of Shinwak Alumni Association, the Shinwak Education Trust, the Anishinaabe People's Council, the Kinomagi Gamig Institute, as well as the First Nations, Métis, and urban indigenous communities. We can show the world that together we are strong. Just as Chief Shinwak, vision of a teaching wigwam was that education was the key in his day to help both his people and the settlers, Algoma understands that education is the key to find solutions for today's complex issues of social inequity, poverty, climate change, of racial and gender discrimination, and of social injustice and violence towards marginalized groups throughout the world. Algoma recognizes that when people come together and have the opportunity to be educated and educated well, everyone develops new perspectives. And so when our graduates enter the workforce with these new perspectives and assume positions of prominence and leadership in their community and in society, they can affect positive change in the world. Another part of our special mission it, as the teaching oriented university has been positioned to move us forward. Thanks to the recent passing of new legislation, Algoma will now be able to offer graduate level degrees at the master and doctoral level in areas such as computer science and technology, business, physical, environmental and social sciences, community, economic and social development, and the humanities. This expanded degree granting authority will enable Algoma to provide greater access to learning opportunities to our students in Brampton, Timmins, and to St. Marie, and to students from other communities across Canada, as well as the many international students from the over 50 different countries that choose to study at our three campuses. I see a bright future for Algoma University. I see extraordinary staff, faculty, and leadership collaborating with extraordinary partners, both indigenous and non-indigenous, teaching and engaging in extraordinary st with students, creating a, a, an extraordinary educational experience that will address many of the society's complex problems. I am excited to serve as chancellor of such a university. As chancellor, my primary role will be to serve as an unrelenting advocate and champion of our special mission. In its duality of the special mission that will enable Algoma to have significant positive impact on the world, it's our destiny. In closing, I wish that my parents were alive to share this moment, their son being inducted as a chancellor. I know that if they were here today, my father would be very proud and take credit because of all the advice he had passed on to me early in my life. And my mother would have believed all the things said about me and would have been calling her friends, boasting about her son, the new chancellor. However, I also know that my family members 
some of whom are following us virtually, surely do not believe that their brother is actually a chancellor. I wish to thank Susan, my wife and best friend, for over 50 years, who has been my greatest support, providing encouragement, insights, perspectives, and often needed criticism. She was an accomplished teacher and is a devoted mother and grandmother and a supportive partner. And to our three sons, their wives, and our five grandkids, because of them, as honored as I am to assume the responsibility of chancellor, the title that gives me the greatest pride and satisfaction in life is always and always will be that of dead or no no. And now to the class of 2021. I thank you for allowing me to share in your special day. Congratulations to all of you, and I wish you all the very, very best for a great life. We are all proud of your accomplishments and look forward to what the world holds in store for you and what you have in store for the world. Algoma University is a great place that has tremendous potential to positively impact the world. It's not where you come from that defines you. It's where you end up that matters. Together, I know we will achieve great things. Thank you for the opportunity to be your chancellor. I look forward to the next four years. Kimigwinch. Thank you, Mario. This concludes the installation of Chancellor Mario Turco. Thank you everyone for attending. Good afternoon, class of 2021. My name is Shelley Shell, and I am the chair of the Algoma University Board of Governors. It is truly my pleasure to be addressing you today. It's quite eye-opening to realize just how long we have been living, working, and studying in this ever-changing landscape. You are extremely dedicated students, and it is wonderful to see you all achieving this incredibly important milestone. The Board of Governors is committed to ensuring the success of our students and Algoma University as a whole. Each member is dedicated to supporting the growth, strength, and well-being of everyone across our three campus communities. It's a privilege to be addressing you today and I'd like to congratulate all of you in achieving so much despite having to overcome so much. Well done, Thunderbirds. You've got a lot to be proud of. Congratulations on behalf of the board to each of you and best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Ani, hello everyone. Bienvenue and a special welcome to everyone joining us today for this very special ceremony as we celebrate the accomplishment of our students. As president of Algoma University, convocation is always an extremely special time for me and our entire university community. Convocation is a time to recognize the culmination of years of hard work, dedication and sacrifice, a time for each of you to take a step back, exhale and realize, I did it, we did it. Take a moment to reflect on and acknowledge the support around you those who have contributed to your success, your parents, friends, faculty members, a staff member, an elder, maybe a counselor. We have shared a lot over the past few months and years. We will never forget the class of 2021, the group of students that successfully persevered through the learning chaos associated with the world pandemic and what learning it has been a time where each and every one of you has demonstrated the ability to pivot quickly, a class that demonstrated daily resilience, patience and understanding, creativity and innovation. You have done things through the pandemic that you never knew you could. Some of you schooled yourselves and your two, three, four children. Some continued studies thousands of miles from our campus, some in a different country. Some cared for their families while balancing studies. All of you learned to navigate, problem solve, and be flexible. Whatever your four-year story today, we celebrate this milestone in your life journey for how each and every one of you have exemplified the spirit of what it means to be a Thunderbird. Strong, wise, courageous, committed. You have all shown your strength of character and spirit. And as an alumnus after today, you will be forever a Thunderbird. Some say knowledge is power. I say 
knowledge empowers self and others. And it is through our lifelong pursuit of knowledge, combined with life experience, we can later experience wisdom. Wisdom comes with daily reflection of lessons learned through life experience. Throughout your time at Algoma, you have learned about the Seven Grandfather teachings the Ojibwe people of this area have shared with us as a guide on how to live and obtain the good life, the Modswin. If you are not Indigenous to this area, you may also have similar teachings in your culture. From my experience, the teachings of love and kindness are universal. It doesn't seem to matter where I visit in the world. The teachings of the good life are there. In Hindu and Buddhist practice, for example, there are loving kindness meditations that develop our ability to wish others well. The idea is that compassion is like a muscle that can become stronger if we use it regularly. Its roots deeply embedded in the way of life. In ancient China, Confucius shared teachings 479 BCE, where he teaches about humanism, treating others the way you would want to be treated. Through his study of this ancient knowledge, he espoused the teaching that if everyone fulfilled their roles and obligations with respect and kindness towards others, it would build a stronger place. Along with your degree, I ask you to take some time to consider the other teachings you will take with you on the next leg of your journey. Over your time here, you've heard elders, traditional knowledge keepers, and others speak to those seven grandfather teachings. Respect, wisdom, humility, bravery, honesty, truth, and love. Our world is asking. Our world is asking, and all things in it need university graduates who will lead positive change in a good way to help all people find the good life, the mods way. And if, I, if, if each of us, if each of us individually reflect each day on these questions, was I respectful? Was I humble? Was I brave, honest, truthful? Did I show love and kindness? And am I continuing to build wisdom during my time here on earth? And I promise you, if you do that, the world will be changed one person at a time. As humans, we are not perfect. We never can be, but we can grow to be better humans each and every day. We can be good to each other. We can learn from and with each other. We can change the world one graduate at a time. So go out and change the world, Thunderbirds. Soar to the highest of mountains, to the farthest lands. Soar over the oceans and become the change makers we need. Become the enablers of self and others. I am so proud of all of you, and I look forward to learning about your incredible accomplishments as alumni over the next several years as you journey to new heights and new places. Congratulations, Thunderbirds. All the best to you. Chimigwitch to everyone for being with us today. Hello everyone, my name is Yahaya Alfons. I am a political science student graduating and I am also the former Algoma University Student Union President. I am humbled and it's such an honor to have been chosen to give the expression of thanks speech on behalf of the set of 2021. And um, it's, I, am, I really appreciate the opportunity. Algoma University has been such a unique experience for us, unlike no other, from the thrills of the outdoors, being able to go kayaking, boating, enjoy the lake, and enjoy the summer and the winter months as well, being able to go to Sedge Mount and go skiing, and down to also the academic experiences, being able to have this event. We had other speakers, the annual business case competition, the annual student leadership competition, the Model United Nations conferences, and just so much more. This has all prepared us to be able to be competitive out in the job field and for us to also have the experiences that we need for grad school and so we've been well prepared. We felt like we are not competing for our professors. Time and attention through the very close-knit community and these are things that have shaped our university experience. Thank you to all the parents and family members for the support you've given us throughout our journey. Thank you to our friends. 
Thank you to the members of staffs, faculty and administration for your relentless work to give us the um, experience that we got from the university. And lastly, thank you to you, the students who have made it this far. We know it's not been an easy journey. The world has been faced by unprecedented challenges over the last couple of months. No one foresaw what was going to happen. But we persevered, we adapted, we were strong and we were brave. And um, it's something we should carry on as we continue. The world is our oyster. Remain hopeful, remain strong. And congratulations, set of 2021. Hello, I'm David Morasco, University Registrar, and I would like to congratulate all the students receiving degrees and certificates this June. While we're currently navigating some serious challenges, it's still important that we recognize student achievement and scholarship. You should be very proud of your accomplishments, and I want to thank you for your resilience and perseverance. At Algoma University, we're very proud of being a destination university, getting students to the next level and transforming their educational experience. It's about academic persistence, progression, and graduation. Today, I have a special honor of acknowledging academic achievement with the presentation of the Governor General's Silver Medal. The Governor General's Medal, established in 1873, is one of the most prestigious awards that can be received by a student in a Canadian post-secondary institution for exceptional academic achievement. The Silver Medal is awarded to the undergraduate student who achieves the highest academic standing upon graduation from an undergraduate degree program. This year's recipient has demonstrated academic excellence during her studies having achieved the highest cumulative average of the 2021 graduating class and will be awarded the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in Biology with distinction. The recipient is intelligent, creative and industrious and has a unique understanding of advanced ideas and issues. As well, her efforts have manifested competence as she continues her academic journey. On behalf of the Office of the Governor General of Canada, I'm pleased to present the academic medal to Ms. Rebecca Wiley. Congratulations to Rebecca and all of the graduates. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Ishtan Imre, Acting Academic Dean 
and it is my privilege to be presenting both the 2020 and 2021 Distinguished Faculty Awards during today's virtual convocation. Although I will only share a brief overview with you today, both of our award recipients have made notable contributions to Ogma University in a variety of ways. The 2020 Distinguished Faculty Award honoree is Dr. Warren Johnston. Dr. Warren Johnston is an outstanding scholar in his field, a committed instructor to his students, and a tireless contributor to his department, faculty, and a number of university committees. His service to the university has been wide-ranging, including being repeatedly voted to the peer review committee as a regular member. Dr. Johnston has represented the humanities faculty on various committees, has been a member of the Board of Governors, the Presidential Search Committee, the Decano Search Committee, the President's Budget Advisory Panel, External Program Review Committees, and numerous Union Committees. His commitment is boundless, and over the last 12 years, Dr. Johnston has made a lasting impression on students, colleagues, and this institution. He is well deserving of the Distinguished Faculty Award. Congratulations, Warren. The 2021 Distinguished Faculty Award honoree is Dr. Trevor Chur. Dr. Trevor Chur holds the distinction of serving as Departmental Chair for Political Science and Law and Justice. He has worked diligently to realize the special mission of Algoma University by broadening the political science and law and justice courses with indigenous content while working towards understanding indigenous policy, issues, philosophy, and knowledge while being inclusive of this type of content relative to courses. Students are compelled to register for Dr. Chur's courses because he's an exceptional lecturer who keeps his students interested in the course content, discourse, and well-documented research. Dr. Chur has worked closely with the Senate and Senate Executive, as well as the Algoma University Board of Governors to ensure high-quality degrees and certificates are offered at Algoma University with the goal of producing exceptional graduates. Your efforts are extremely impactful, Dr. Chur. Congratulations. I'd now like to take this opportunity to introduce our 2020 and 2021 honorary degree recipients. Algoma University confers honorary degrees to individuals who exemplify the teachings of our special mission and to those who have made a significant impact on our university and community. Please help me congratulate Charles Jackson Bud Wildman on being the 2020 Algoma University Honorary Degree recipient. Bud Wildman has devoted his career to Northern Ontario. His political leadership, his commitment to improving relationships with Ontario's First Nations, and his support for Northern Ontario communities and their institutions are deserving of recognition. He held a notable career as a politician and has been recognized in Ontario for his active work in passing the Environmental Bill of Rights, 1993, which is still upheld by the Environmental Commissioner of Ontario to this day. Bud Wildman has a particularly deep commitment to Algoma University. In 2000, the Board of Governors of Algoma University College invited him to join the board in the capacity of board chair. His organizational strengths and experience enabled him to step into this role at a difficult time in the history of the college. His leadership on the college's Board of Governors gave the provincial ministry confidence that the college could indeed face its financial and enrollment challenges in a credible fashion. Wildman served three terms as chair of the Algoma University College Board. During his tenure, Algoma U increased its enrollment substantially, maintained balanced budgets, diversified its revenue sources, and enhanced its academic reputation. Wildman's commitment to First Nations inclusion was instrumental in establishing a close partnership with the Shingwok Education Trust, and Wildman was proud to sign the Covenant in 2006, a document which still today binds together Algoma University and Shingwok Kinemagegamig. Congratulations, Bud. Thank you for your contributions to Algoma University, SKG, Sault Ste. Marie, and Ontario. This honorary degree is very well deserved. I'd like to express congratulations to new Chancellor Mario Turco and uh, 
acknowledge that here at Awating, we are on traditional lands of the Anishinaabe people, specifically the Garden River First Nation, the Batchewana First Nation, and the Métis Nation of Ontario. What a wonderful celebration today. It's exciting, exciting for the graduates, it's exciting for their family and friends, and it's exciting for me. First, I want to express my sincere congratulations to all of the graduates. This is a significant milestone in your lives. It's a special personal achievement, particularly when the challenges of the last 18 months with the COVID-19 pandemic crisis are considered. This is an achievement that you and all who have supported and inspired you on your journey to this day, your family, friends, teachers, professors, coaches, and others can take a great pride in. But it's not an end. It's really just the beginning. Your hard work and adaptability and perseverance have paid off so far. The knowledge and experience you've gained as students at Algoma University will stand you in good stead in this next exciting chapter of your lives. Whether you're moving into chosen careers in the work world or into further studies at other institutions. The qualities and skills you've developed as students at Algoma University will enable you to play a part as society grapples with the two existential challenges facing the world community, climate change and the growing inequality gap. Major social and economic changes are required to slow global heating and to build a more equitable society. You all as graduates have a role to play in these efforts. In Canada once more, the horrific discoveries at the site of the Kamloops Residential School in British Columbia have brought home the importance of truth and reconciliation between Indigenous and settler communities for achieving fairness and social equality in our country. We must remember the truth and recognize it and honor the past and remember the past and begin to make amends. Here on the site of the Shingwak Residential School, Algoma University, with its special mission for cross-cultural learning in partnership with Shingwak Kinemagikameg, has a special role to, in helping to facilitate that reconciliation. The historic and cultural awareness you've developed as Algoma University students will enable you to continue to encourage greater understanding between Anishinaabe and Canadians now and in the future. Finally, I'd like on a personal note to express my sincere thanks to the Senate, the Chancellor, the President, and all the staff of Algoma University for the great honor you're bestowing on me today. I've never expected it. Uh, it's rather humbling. Algoma University and its partner, Shingwa Kinemagigameg, and the education that they provide have always been close to my heart. I took courses at Algoma University College back in the 1960s. When I was in politics, I supported the development of Algoma University College. After I retired, I was asked to join the board of the, the uh, Algoma University College, and we negotiated the sacred covenant with Shingwak Education Trust and Shingwak Kinemagigameg, developing a partnership for cross-cultural education. I'm proud of my role at Algoma University, and I'm proud of the work of all of the staff, the students, the faculty, and the administration of this institution. I wish you well in the future. Best wishes to all of the graduates as you take on new opportunities and challenges in the future. Thank you all so much. By the authority vested in me under the Charter of Algoma University, I confer upon Charles Jackson Bud Wildman the degree of Doctor of Letters Honoris Causa. Congratulations.
Good afternoon, my name is Dr. Lori Bloomfield and I'm currently the Chair of the Sciences Faculty and Speaker of Senate for Algoma University. I'm honoured to be here today to introduce you to our 2020 Senate Award recipients, an award that was deferred to 2021 due to the postponement of last year's convocation ceremony. This year, two individuals are jointly recognized for their significant contributions to Algoma University. I'd like to sincerely congratulate John Kutrizola and Bill Canalopoulos. Both of these men have done excellent work in terms of supporting post-secondary education in the Peel region, and more specifically in the city of Brampton. John and Bill possess deep passion for post-secondary education, and their commitment to increase access to education opportunities in Brampton is always apparent. They are determined that Algoma University is Brampton's university and have consistently gone above and beyond to make that happen. John and Bill have worked tirelessly behind the scenes on many levels to convince community partners that Algoma University belongs in the heart of downtown Brampton. They are always willing to meet with representatives to discuss future projects and offer their support in any way they can. Algoma University has been the direct beneficiary of their time, financial support, and commitment to the establishment and promotion of Algoma University in Brampton. Bill and John are excellent members of their community who are continually making significant contributions to support ongoing social, educational, and artistic endeavors in Brampton and the greater Peel region. Thank you both for your ongoing commitment to Algoma University, our students, and our future. Congratulations. Teaching Award recipients, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate my friends and peers on receiving the Algoma University Teaching Awards, full-time and part-time. These awards are determined by student, faculty, and staff nominations. I am very pleased to congratulate Sean Meadis on receiving the full-time teaching award and Robert Bob Cooper on receiving the part-time teaching award. You are both very deserving of this recognition. I would like to share a brief comment on each recipient as shared from their nominations. Sean is an authentic and incredible professor that is respected by his students and colleagues for his depth of knowledge and passion for his area of expertise in community economics and social development. CESD. Sean's commitment to student success and mindfulness of the integrity of learning content is outstanding. His influential leadership and teaching strategies foster reflective and innovative thought while taking into consideration all of the humanities intricate dynamics. Bob is a great teacher and an extremely supportive person. Everyone attends his class because he always finds time for fun and is always smiling and positive. His unique insights and methods help his students learn how to navigate real life situations and for that many share their gratitude. Bob is patient and fair and truly deserves this recognition. Sincere congratulations to you both, very well deserved. Thank you. Hi, my name is Adam Carpenter and I am the Chair of the Alumni Council. On behalf of our alumni family, I want to congratulate you on all of your accomplishments. You've worked hard to get to this point. We all remember the long nights of cramming, finishing assignments, studying for exams, and being overwhelmed at times. But all of that hard work has brought you to this point. Congratulations, class of 2021. This will be a year that we will never forget, and we're really proud that you've made it. While I wish we could do this in person, it is my pleasure to welcome each of you to the alumni family. Your relationship with Algoma University doesn't end today. In fact, it's just the beginning of a long relationship. I encourage you to stay connected, keep involved, and help shape the future of tomorrow's students. As you're about to embark on the next phase of your life, keep in touch. You can update your information on the alumni website. We love to hear what you're doing, celebrate your success and accomplishments, and brag about you a little bit. There's always a place for you here. Today, I also have the pleasure of announcing the names of the two esteemed members of our alumni family who are being recognized for their respective accomplishments. 2021 Alumni Achievement Award, Joanne Robertson. 2021 Distinguished Alumni Award, Elise and Cora. Further details on both awards as well as short biographies are available within your digital convocation program. Congratulations to both of you.
It has been such a privilege to share in today's celebration with you all. Congratulations once again to Chancellor Turco, as well as all of our award winners. I am so proud of each and every member of the Algoma University class of 2021. Congratulations, Thunderbirds. Please enjoy the special video created for you about you following our closing ceremonies. Congratulations, class of 2021. Welcome to the Algoma University alumni family. I can't wait to see what you do next. Convocatio dismissa et je dessus ces convocations. I dismiss this convocation. <laughs>